here we are in Hazard, and here are my two guides. <laughs> <laughs> Since my guide didn't show up. What was her nickname again? Huh? Yeah, what was her nickname again? Her uh, name is <laughs> Princess. Yeah, that sounds better. And we don't have a guide, and Dan is lost in Hazard, Kentucky. Not a good place You're to be not lost. I know, uh, but we'll keep you straight. And, and what happens when you have a GPS in Hazard, Kentucky? You need to leave it lay on your... Uh, front seat of your car and the never never use it. So here we are at the start of the elk hunt and they're going to get me a guide. So that's the start of our hunt. Here we are around December 13th. Got lucky, met a guy named Ryan at the hotel. Met a cop who's a guy named Wes. Drove what he said was 20 miles. Took us about 90 minutes up an ice mountain. As far as I'm concerned, it's already been an adventure. Wes saw a bull back up in there. Isn't it beautiful? Check it out. On the road again. Hope I don't kill something because then I have to carry it out of here. New bridge they put up. Check this out. Going up a damn mountain again. Crazy man. Crazy one. I hope I make it home. There's a monster, monster bull right there. I gotta be real careful. He is right there walking up that hill. I don't know if you can see him out that window. Beautiful. Here we go again. Crazy. Snow, hills, ice. The adventure of driving is probably crazier than hunting. No trespassing. So where are we going? <laughs> oh, what an adventure. I am now a coal miner. Holy cow. This is too crazy. We're going to get one up here, man. This looks good. Wild country. Right up a hill, man. Thank goodness there's no ice on this bed. It would be ugly. Bye-bye. There's going to be explosives up here. There are. They just blew up something with some damn dynamite. Get out of here. One of the big problems with hunting in the mountains of Kentucky is what you do after you shoot something. Then you gotta find it. And then after you find it, you gotta figure out how you're gonna get it over those hills. And it ain't easy. Unless you got money in your pocket. Because these guys don't like to come out here for free. Now I'm hoping to find this stupid animal. Oh man, this is work. This will be my only elk hunt. I'll be happy I'm done. Hope I got this thing. I'm looking for it. I smell something. I don't see anything. Uh oh, there's something up there. It's small when you shoot it, but boy, when you get up there, they say they're huge. I can, tell you, I can tell by looking at this thing right now. This is a horse. It's a big, 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 big one. There it is. I just hope it's a girl. 
I don't see a wing long. Holy cow, ain't no way I could drag that thing out of here. That thing is a huge monster. Wow. It was worth it, but it's a lot of work. In conclusion of a great day, long day, no guide. Well, he kind of showed us where to go, but left us. Here we are in Leslie County. I am whipped. You can see these hills. Man, oh man. I don't know how they get these animals out of here. On a coal mine. ICG coal mine. Crazy. Active coal mine. Stop and talk to that guy. Did you get an elk? Yes, I did. What are you going to do with it? I don't know, Blister. I heard a couple guys up there help you get him out of here. I'm like, yeah, right. Bring them on. I give them a six pack of beer and a couple tube, tune the back and a couple marijuana stickers, sticks. They help me get that elk out. What a great day. What a beautiful country.